How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch a practice Wi-Fi battle video today in preparation for the Kanto Classic. For those who don't know, the Kanto Classic is a Nintendo Wi-Fi competition hosted by Nintendo, obviously. And what's awesome about this competition is it's a six-on-six -six battle format, single battle, which means I'm totally into because I do mostly single battles all the time. And you're using only the first generation of Pokemon games, or the first generation of Pokemon from the first generation games, when they came out in 1996. So that's kind of a nice throwback there for this competition. I really like it. Uh, you're not allowed to use any legendary Pokemon with the exception of the three legendary birds, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, uh, no Mew or Mewtwo, and no items. So I'm packing a Clefable, Dragonite, Alakazam, Snorlax, Nidoking, and Golem. That's what I was thinking of doing, but I realized I didn't have a fighting type. I really need a fighting type to handle probably the most popular Pokemon in this tournament. So I swapped out Dragonite for Machamp, and you'll see Machamp in my uh, real Kanto Classic matches when I get a chance to upload them. But this here is a practice battle with my friend Trainer Leo on Twitter, so if you want to go challenge him, I'll put his Twitter link in the description. So we both start out with our Confable, What's so awesome about this tournament and what's unique about it is that you're going to see a lot of setting up or paralyzing things, getting up entry hazards. All that is going to be very common in the Kanto Classic. So you're going to have to get used to that when you see my matches. But uh, yeah, a lot of setting up and all that and a lot of KOs. So that makes it a pretty quick match overall. But here, uh, he does paralyze, he does paralyze me and gets up to stealth loss. I don't have a rapid spinner, so I'm going to rely on wishing up the HP for Dragon Knight in this scenario, but for the majority of my Pokemon as I can throughout this tournament. Uh, Storage Wave actually does a lot more damage than I thought it would, but that's okay. We get our wish from Clefable. I just go for an Outrage. Why the heck not? Uh, we're just going to keep on using that. He could go into his Clefable at any point, but I realized that Blastoise might have Ice Beam, and that's what he has. So, Dragonite, you're going to go down right here. You you do pretty good in this uh, battle, but I'm going to have to sacrifice you and probably not use you in this entire tournament because I realized that Machamp is going to be more useful. So, yeah, that's my analysis on Dragonite there. All right, so... I missed my charge beam, which sucks because, well, I mean, uh, well, I get, uh, toxic, but you know what? My Alakazam's ability will allow me to not take any poison damage or energy hazard damage. Unfortunately for me, uh, he gets a critical hit on that fake out. That means that I'm really prone to getting knocked out by someone else. I thought I could take out the Kangaskhan with a plus one Psychic, but we do not. So Kangaskhan gets to take care of my Alakazam like that, uh, in that play there. So, you know, that's fine. See what I'm talking about? You're going to see a lot of chaos, and it's like, well, in a regular match today, you're a lot more bulky, you've got more items and whatnot, but not in this tournament, guys. We're we're going at it and just getting KOs and getting our statistics up. Uh, so we take out Kangas down with my Golem here. The reason I'm packing Golem is because of Stealth Ox and uh, I don't have... I really wish I had Sucker Punch because Sucker Punch would, like, take out Gengar here. But here I'm forced to go into Bigfoot here, the... Um, a small last another Pokemon that's going to be very popular besides Clefable and Gengar to a lesser extent there. But um unfortunately for me he has Destiny Bond and he's going to drag me into the KO range and or it's going to drag me into the death, I guess, because we both get locked out and uh 
that's a nice uh, du double gown scenario. So on that double gown scenario, I expected him to start or go into uh, Hitmonchan. That means that I can go into Clefable. It's pretty much checkmate to this thing. And uh, so we go with a Moon Blast to finish him off. Moon Blast is a very strong fairy type. Uh, in the original games, Clefable was a normal type, but now it's a fairy and normal type, I believe. So, or actually, I think it's just fairy. Yeah, I have to double check on that, but I think it's just fairy. And that's great because uh, if he was still a normal type, I wouldn't have an answer for that Dragonite. So we take out Dragonite there. Uh, a little bit of payback here as I get paralyzed. I, uh, well. Yeah, and I get my special attack dropped there, so we get a little bit of payback from my opponent here, because he's like, you take care of my Pokemon, here I'll show you some hats here. And believe me, there's going to be a lot of hats, whether it's getting paralyzed at the wrong moment, or, you know, getting critical hits every now and then. There's going to be a lot of that throughout this Wi-Fi competition. So, I'm going to wish up for Neo Rexus here. Neo Rexus is my Neo King, who is really going to be my win conditions for this tournament, if only for the coverage that it gets. It gets like Sludge Bomb slash Sludge Wave, it gets uh, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam and Earth Power. You've got options to hit the majority of the Pokemon in the clear, uh for this first generation Wi Fi competition. So that was a nice match uh, there by me and Leo, just to practice and just getting to know what to expect throughout this tournament. I get a feeling that we're going to have a lot of fun. Well, that's it for now, everyone. If you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle, you can hit that like button and subscribe and look forward to the Kanto Classic. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.